Hey guys, it's Devin BK, and today I'm bringing you a video where I'm going to be going over the weapons of Black Ops 3. We're going to go through, see what the weapons are, because a lot of these guns actually have weird names. They don't really sort of lend themselves towards real life variants. It's really quite hard to distinguish if it's a real life version and they've tweaked it so it looks like a 2060 sort of variant of that gun, or if it's just made up. So we're going to go through them now. I've got a confirmed list and we're going to go through one by one. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the SMGs of Black Ops 3, and I have to say the SMGs look really really good in Black Ops 3. A lot of people were saying that this game is a AR dominated game and I do believe that I reckon that assault rifles are going to play a big part in Black Ops 3. They generally do in other Treyarch games because of the map size and layout and design so bear that in mind guys. SMGs might not be the strongest weapon class for Black Ops 3 but I'd imagine it's going to be a lot of fun just rushing around like crazy with an SMG. So the first gun we're going to be looking at is the Weevil and you're probably thinking the Weevil. I don't, I don't know what a Weevil is what the hell is a weevil well this is a p90 essentially and I'm so freaking happy that they've done this that they brought the p90 to a Treyarch game this is the first time they've done it and Treyarch have gone like crazy and really tried to update the p90 and they've given it a new iron sight they've given it a futuristic feel for the Black Ops game and future which is set in 2060 and it just looks freaking awesome. I have played other games where the P90 looks very similar in terms of the Iron Sight and I can't remember for the life of me what that game is uh, but I have seen this Iron Sight on a P90 somewhere else and it's uh, a great move. I always really like the P90 Iron Sights anyway since COD 4. I just loved it and I've loved it in Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. I thought the P90 was a really really good gun especially just for hip fire. That's what this gun is sort of built for in previous Call of Duties, and I'm expecting that this gun is going to be no different, and it's just going to be a hip fire weapon. I reckon sticking on like the laser sight is going to be the best thing because this gun actually has 50 rounds in the magazine and 150 in reserve, and it's obviously for the auto. So. You're just going to melt people using laser sight and hip fire. That's my feeling behind this. This is what we've had with the P90 in previous Call of Duties. So the next weapon we're going to be looking at is the VMP. And this weapon is going to be set to be a high risk, high reward sort of weapon. I do feel like that because from what I've seen, this looks like a low recoil low fire rate but high damage SMG and it looks like it's actually putting people out at a range. It sort of looks like a hybrid. It sort of reminds me of the Peacekeeper from Black Ops where it wasn't the greatest for close up engagements but it was taking people out at a range relatively well for an SMG. So let's hope that's actually the case because this gun only has 20 rounds in a magazine. So I have seen gameplay online where this weapon has had 27 rounds in its magazine and I'm not too sure if that's down to the fact it's got extended mags and extended mags is only giving you seven more rounds with this weapon if that's the case it really shows that this weapon is a high damage output weapon and uh, it's going to be a high risk high reward so the next weapon is the CUDA and essentially this is a MP5 from previous Call of Duties the iron sights are very reminiscent of the MP5K and it just looks very very nice I can't wait to actually use this the MP5 is always fun in Call of Duty it isn't always the best but it always is fun the MP5 in COD 4 was hands down one of the best SMGs but it sort of got very lackluster towards the end and uh, I haven't really enjoyed the MP5 like I have done in COD 4 so hopefully this is going to be a lot of fun hopefully it actually does put out some damage a lot of people are actually saying that this gun needs a buff because from what they played at E3 it's not the strongest and a lot of people were sort of avoiding it like the plague so hopefully they actually do buff it this gun has 30 rounds in a magazine and it's got 90 in reserve and it's obviously fully auto which we've come to expect from the MP5 so yeah bear in mind guys probably avoid this on launch if they haven't fixed it because it's just not going to be the strongest weapon and that's coming out of E3 from vast amounts of people that have actually had playtime with the game. So the final weapon I've got here is the Vespa and I haven't seen any gameplay of this weapon at all, not full gameplay and if you've seen it send it over to me because I'll be really interested to see how this gun plays out in the multiplayer universe. I have seen a snippet and that was on the PlayStation conference gameplay trailer reveal thing where he's actually swimming underwater for a brief second and you can actually see the weapon. So this weapon actually has 40 rounds, 53 with extended mags and 120 in reserve and it's fully automatic and that's the only bit of information I've got on this weapon and I'd love to see more so like I said if you've seen any gameplays with this on 
online let me know because i'll be interested to see this so before i go i gotta thank you guys for all the support on my latest few videos it's been immense it's been insane and the support the likes the views have been going through the roof so thank you guys from the bottom of my heart i really really do appreciate it also on a side note i'm totally new to black ops 3 all the information i'm getting is coming from a hundred different sources so if there's any information wrong i will try my best to update you guys and and let you know because i'm learning at the same pace as you guys so yeah i'm, I'm totally new to this just as much as you so don't forget to rate comment subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one later